hey guys what's up so I did not end up doing her two-week video or her two-week update sorry I was doing a lot of cleaning and stuff to prepare for my friends coming up here so I am now doing her three-week update she's three weeks today aren't you are you looking at the camera but yeah so three weeks today and I kind of just have like a bunch of random stuff written down I literally didn't have to like add anything from two weeks to three weeks because nothing's really changed but yeah so and it's all it, like I said it's like in a random order so I'll just go ahead and tell you um, everything that's been going on with her okay so when it comes to sleeping my neighbor had bought us a bassinet and we tried having her sleep in it for two or three nights and we tried swaddling her and putting her in it and she did not like it at all. She would cry until I took her out of it and then she would be fine. Um, yeah, it was really hard to get her to go to sleep in that thing. She did not like it. Did you? And she's awake right now, which is rare. She's only awake for about, in total, probably four hours out of the day. Usually about two hours at a time. And ew, there's a spider! Oh no, now I don't know where it is. Okay. But anyway, so, yeah, that didn't work. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm never going to get any sleep. Um, but uh, some people had said that their babies liked sleeping in swings. So we bought a swing for her, and she sleeps great in there. So the bassinet is basically just being used as a storage unit right now. And then I'm probably going to sell it. <laughs> I'm really grateful for her to buying it for me. Uh, or to her for bu buying it for me. But, um, yeah, it's not working out. This little baby does not like bassinets, do you? And plus, in her swing, I like it better because I can see her. So I can see if she's breathing when I look over there. Because that just, SIDS just, like, terrifies me. So I check her if she's breathing every single time I wake up. And in the um, bassinet, you can't, like, see them, you know? So, it's just kind of scary. Um, she's really a pretty, like, content baby. She's really happy. She, she literally only cries when she's hungry or if she's, like, uncomfortable. Like, I accidentally set her, I was trying to put her in her bathtub the other day, and there's, like, a thing that pokes up like this underneath it. So, you put, you're supposed to put their butt on the side of it. And I accidentally put her back on it when I was moving her. And she did not like that. You did not like that, did you? But, yeah, she only cries when she's hungry. And then when she eats, she usually falls right back asleep. And, oh, I forgot to say, she wakes up about every three hours in the night. Like, it's, it's not bad at all. Three to four hours, she wakes up, starts whining. She doesn't even, like, cry, cry. She just whines enough to where I'm like, okay, she's not going back to sleep. And then I feed her, and then I change her, and then she goes back to sleep, right? Um, let's see. Her weight, she was born at 7 pounds, 14 ounces. She lost about 7% of her weight before we left the hospital. Um, and then at her, her two-week checkup, she had that on last Wednesday. And, um, she went 8'10". He said that's great because they just want them to get back up to their birth weight. So, and she's in like the 75th or higher percentile for her weight. So, she's bigger than most babies her age. Um, as for jaundice, I had that written down for her two week update because when she left the hospital, she was a little bit yellowy. But um, they said don't. It's not bad enough to put her under lights or anything like that. So they just had me put her in the sunlight and stuff. And she was still a little yellowy around two weeks. What? What? But yeah, her color is really good now. She's like, she's pretty much, she pretty much has normal people skin color now. And she's in like this giant oversized thing because it's really cold in here. So yeah, so no more jaundice. Um, let's see, I got her professional, oh, I'm sorry, professional pictures taken when she was eight days old, and I should be getting those back soon. 
Um, I've already seen one of them, and I can't wait to see the rest. What are you doing? Look at the camera. Look at the camera, boo-boo. But, um... Let's see. Yeah, so I can't wait to get those back, and I'll probably put some of them on here. Uh, on one of my videos whenever I get them back, but, um... And as I mentioned, I had put her in her bathtub, and, um... You know, the thing was poking her in the back, but yeah, so I did give her, I've given her two baths since I've been back here, but they haven't been in water. They've just been like sponge baths. And the doctor said she would not like her baths, but she did. She just laid there and looked around, didn't you? She's like, a, she's a really happy baby, and now she has the hiccups. She gets them like friggin' four or five times a day, and I feel so bad because she, they annoy her so much. Um, Okay. Yeah, so, and then the last thing is, I just wrote, um, she does not like her pacifier, really. I mean, she doesn't, like, hate it, but if I try to put it in her mouth, she usually just, either she lets me put it in and then she just spits it out, or she just, like, literally does not, like, she puts her tongue in the way and I can't even put it in there, which is fine. I don't want her to be, like, um, I was, I didn't give my passy up till I was three. I don't want her to be like that, <laughs> but it's just... It would be kind of nice if we had something to soothe her if she ever did get upset. But, um, and then I guess something I will add is they said to wait two to three weeks before I started, like, um, pumping and using bottles on her because it could mess up her latch. So I waited until about two and a half weeks. And then now she uses bottles sometimes too. Still breast milk, but sometimes uses bottles. And she, her latch is still perfect, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, her latch is still great. Um, okay, and then uh, one more thing I'll add is that with her trying to hold her head up, if you put her against, like, she is already tr tries so hard to hold her little head up. If you put her against you, she always, like, lifts her head up. <laughs> she thinks she's so strong. But yeah, I haven't really done much tummy time with her, which I should, because the doctor said that's fine. But, um, yeah, she's getting strong fast, and I will feel better when she can hold her neck up. But that's about it, and then I'm going to lay her down and, um, show you kind of a comparison to a little stuffed animal. And just do that every time, <laughs> and just see how big she gets, right? So yeah, that's pretty much everything, and I'll do her one month update, and then it'll be monthly after that. Right? And I don't know about doing a three week postpartum video for me, maybe, maybe in a few days. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. You guys say goodbye. Alright. Say bye bye. Open your eyes. Say bye bye.